In many parts of the world, agriculture and forests are seen as opposing forces. But a new report from the Food and Agriculture Organization highlights that the true path lies in synergy. It argues that forests and agriculture must work together, not compete. On one hand, agriculture feeds people, supports livelihoods and helps economies grow. On the other hand, forests provide clean air, water regulation, erosion control, habitat for species and a host of climate benefits. When agriculture expands unchecked, it often comes at the cost of forests. That leads to loss of biodiversity, more erosion, reduced carbon capture and weaker resilience to climate change. The report stresses that agriculture should not eat into forests, nor should forests be seen as separate from food production zones. The solution lies in integrated land use strategies. For example, agroforestry systems which mix tree cultivation with crops or livestock provide yields and environmental benefits together. These systems boost productivity while also maintaining ecosystem services. In regions of the Global South where lands are under pressure from population growth, climate stress and economic demands, this integrated approach is particularly vital. Smallholder farmers, indigenous communities and rural lands often face multiple challenges. By designing landscapes that combine farming, tree cover and natural ecosystems, it becomes possible to build resilience, protect soil health, conserve water and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Policymakers are called upon to break down old silos of forest ministry versus agriculture ministry and start coordinating plans that reflect real landscapes. Financial incentives, land tenure reforms and local community engagement must support models that balance forest protection with food production. Investment in sustainable farming methods, tree planting alongside crops, restoration of degraded land and support for farmers who adopt these systems are central themes. Ultimately, the message is clear. In a world facing climate change, biodiversity loss and hunger all at once, treating forests and agriculture as separate or competing sectors is no longer viable. The future lies in landscapes where trees, crops, pastures and natural systems are woven together. This is not just good for nature, it is good for food security, for livelihoods and for the health of our planet.